I don't know which market in Nigeria would see two women fighting and then you will carry my gari, my hard end gari that I want to use for my daily bread and pour on someone because you are fighting. Like, you, you are very sick. Me, I will fight you. Whoa, it's not even gonna be easy. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Esse and today I'm going to be reviewing the latest Nollywood movie, Battle on Boca Street. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Oh my God, guys, finally, Battle on Boca Street is on Prime Video and I'm so excited because we in the diaspora, we only need to wait a few months and we get to see the movies that you guys see back home. So I'm very, very happy that Netflix and Prime Videos are really doing it. And it seems like Friday is now the day for them to be dropping all these blockbusters. So with that said, let's dig in. So this movie follows the lives of Yejide and Awele, two set sisters and their rivalry. And this rivalry goes back as far as their mothers when their father Maduka marries Ashake as the younger wife and Ezine is not having it. Matter of fact, Yejide and Awele was born on the same day and even from the moment they were both born, they have been rivals. And yeah, the story unfolds in the present day as these two wore it out on Booker Street. This movie features a lot of prominent A-list stars like Jola Shobawale, Tina Umba, Kim Obo, Messi Johnson, and the lead Funke Akindele. And this movie was actually directed by Funke Akindele. I just think she brings so much much when it comes to comedy in Nollywood movies. Let's start off with the lead actress Funke Akindele who is playing Yejide. Yejide is the daughter of Ashake and like I mentioned that in the plot she's rivals with Ewele. I think Funke Akindele is a phenomenal actress and she played the role Yejide very well not only as an insecure cook <laughs> and someone who is at war with her stepsister but as a loving wife which we'll talk about later so she actually her husband has gone to jail and she's taking care of the kids her husband show up out of nowhere and all of that good stuff i think she killed the role i don't think anybody would have acted that role better than she did now with that said let's talk about her self-sister awele who is played by messi johnson i might be the only person on this planet let me know in the comment section below if you are on this train with me but i hated her acting i love messi johnson i think she's an amazing actor actress but when an actress overplays something it just irritates me and that's how she was in this movie she was irritating i'm sorry i have to use that word but it was clear that she's not an Igbo person and see when they cast a non Igbo person to play an Igbo role and you overdo it it shows it shows like the way she was saying it just this oh my god i was just like can you stop can you just be normal like the fact that your Igbo does not mean you should kill it like no not all Igbo people talk like that and they don't even overdo it it, it was ew, ew. <coughs> i think her acting was off-putting and i didn't enjoy watching it whatsoever now let's talk about the mothers i'm gonna start off with shola shobawale and whenever i see shola shobawale i'm always like are you gonna shout or are you not gonna shout she did shout okay was her shouting necessary i don't think so i think the scene where she was shouting and trying to pull down the heavens i don't think it was necessary i I think she acted well but the shouting was unnecessary again if you argue with me just leave it in the comments that is your opinion this is my opinion i think it was not called for but did she act well yes she did act well she acted as a good mother love it Tina Umba, oh my god i love this woman i don't know if it's the way she talks or what it is <laughs> but she did so so well especially when she was acting as someone who was sick and all of that i found it very very refreshing i just like seeing her in movies she delivered well the two girls who played awele's kid um i'm gonna put their names here because i don't have their names off the top of my head i've seen both of them act in different movies and they were fantastic in both movies one of the girls is in wura which is a um, showing on show max and the other one she has like there's a medical series here on youtube 
YouTube that she features in and she's excellent. But two of them together playing Cairo and Kaisa, what were their names? Jesus, I just wanted to strangle them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being harsh, but that's how I felt. Like they were irritating me. Their mother was irritating and then they were just like, I just, they felt like flies that I just wanted to just like stop the way they were licking lollipop was completely unnecessary like how old are you are you two years old and the way they will do things together the same way their mannerisms it just didn't make sense i felt like it was over it was overdone they were trying to bring out comedy from something that was not even funny with these two like i hated it the story and the storyline i think the story did not make sense here's why hear me out it felt like two stories that they tried to merge together that didn't now work because i was enjoying the first half of it and i was like i wonder how this is gonna end and then they just brought this other story out of nowhere and let me, i i think they tried to you know lead us towards that second storyline which is how they they were going to be able to end it through several scenes where they were there was a little bit of seriousness in the movie where they were showing um yejide's son complaining about oh my dad went to jail so nobody's associating with me and all that stuff as so i was like how is this necessary you know like i i get it they started planting that seed but it still didn't work and this is where i talk about storytelling again even if they told the story well because i felt whoever tried to stitch these two together was really really trying to tell a good story but the story in itself didn't make sense because they were two different halves it's like joining half apple with half orange and just hoping that if you sew them together it will look like what do you want it to look like an apple or an orange like choose one so it didn't work in that sense the beginning in itself was really funny like i personally don't like comedy when i when it comes to like nollywood i'm not it's not my thing but i was willing to watch this one and the way they started it, I was like, hmm, okay, okay. As in, I judged you wrong. I actually sat up and, guys, before the end of the movie, how what was I doing? <sighs> guys, I slept. Like, I actually woke up. I was like, hey, I've not finished this movie. <laughs> because the second half just felt dragged and please tell me why this movie is two hours plus long like please nobody has time to sit down for that long unless you are giving us some crazy interesting movie like this is not bollywood okay it was too long in my opinion and like i said the second half where her husband escapes from prison all of a sudden the jailbirds are now the ones terrorizing the village it just didn't gel if you ask me like i just felt like no it was no 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 it was not necessary another thing they did was they hyped us up when they were like oh the boat ladies were like we're going spiritual we're going spiritual i was like let's get in let's get and that's all that happened like the few scenes afterwards actually when yejide went to climb the seven mountains yeah and the sponge fell I expected something to happen to her but nothing really happened so for me I, I don't know I don't know I just felt like it was a missed opportunity at a great movie because like I said the beginning was very strong the um, different ways they were retaliating um, the both women that were both you know um, fighting themselves in the market the way they this one would put cockroach in this one's restaurant so put rat i found that hilarious i found it funny i liked it but very soon it became tiresome and i was already wondering how it's gonna end and of course they disappointed me one thing i really enjoyed about this movie and i can't say this enough is the staging the location i don't know what it is but that market that buka place just took me back to my childhood i don't eat amala don't get me wrong but there's this place in ivy where i grew up amala, amala sky and it just kind of reminded me amala sky is a little bit cleaner than that but it just reminded me of, you know when you see people rushing with their plates and all of that i think the way they painted that picture was very lovely even the street where it says buka street reminded me of of computer village you know when you go to computer village in lagos they have this computer village at the entrance and when you enter everything is phone and all of that this was sort of like a version of that right saying 
Buka Street and then you now had like so many sellers there. I really liked, like I loved it. Even the house, I liked it. I'm, I, I really pay attention to all these things because I feel like they set the scene for how well the story comes alive. So for that, I have to give them 10 over 10. Hair, makeup and costume. I liked the makeup, I liked the costume, however, I'm going to talk about something with the makeup is the at the false wound on Mercy Johnson's face after she had that fight with Yejide in the market. I just felt like it looked pink. It didn't look like wound wound. I felt like maybe that's someone just trying their hands at um, you know this type of makeup. Um, it just didn't work. Um, however, they did a good job with making Tina Umba look sick. I think they just added too much oil on her face to be honest. But <laughs> Their outfits were good. I didn't also enjoy the twins again. Their hair with the beads. Like, those girls are not five-year-olds. I was struggling with their age because of the way they were dressed. I was like, how old are these two girls supposed to be? Are they supposed to be 10? Are they supposed to be 5? Are they supposed to be like, what, what what age are you guys at? And why do you have beads in your hair? Why are you dressing like this? Totally lost me there um even the scene where um awele went to get do the prayers and then incense burnt her leg that wound was looking <laughs> it was looking like they should take her to the hospital not what that our man was putting stuff on but i think it looked real and so for that i give them a round of applause guys one scene that i really really wanted to talk about and i don't know if any other person felt the same way was the scene where both women were fighting in the market like i don't know which market in nigeria or let me say lagos because i've not lived everywhere in nigeria right would see two women fighting and then you will carry my gary my hard end gary that i want to use for my daily bread and pour on someone because you are fighting like you are very sick me i will fight you whoa it's not even gonna be easy like that scene for me was just unreal she actually took a stool and threw it that's yeji day now threw it at awele and i was just like um that is supposed to be very painful like how do you guys have the power to be fighting i just felt that scene was a tad bit unbelievable especially with them just like pouring rice pouring gary everywhere i was just like you guys better have money you better have some coins to pay these people because i don't understand what you're doing Overall, I think Battle on Buka Street was a good movie, not the best. Again, the story lets it down, um, especially when they introduced her husband. That whole thing, I don't want to get into it because it was just rubbish in my opinion. Um, let the movie down because it had the potential to be a really really good movie and again it was too long like really too too long and then of course um mr johnson's acting so those three things are the reason why i'm gonna be deducting three points from this movie and i'm going to be rating this movie seven over ten let me know what your thoughts were on this movie if you enjoyed it let me know if you've not seen it make sure you check it out again no rush because it's not the best thing since sliced bread anyway before i go guys i just want to say i also reviewed obaram make sure to check out that review and other reviews and also consider subscribing to my channel if you love my review and until next time bye